Welcome to another process video from Freddie and myself. I'm going to be creating my own fabric today using paint, inks, threads, slow stitching, and I'm going to be creating with it too. Alongside that, I'm going to be um, using all the leftover paints in my little composition book as well. So let me pull you closer and I'll show you how I go about it. These prompts are from Aunt Beck's creation. I, I will put her links down below. She's creating, she created the prompts and also created her own fabric. First prompt is Doodle. I've got some ink here and my glass pen from Deborah. Now, my fabric, this time I'm not going to be making a bag like I did last time when Aunt Bex was did her did her her prompts. Actually, she's, this is the third time, isn't it, Becky? Because my the cover picture on my my channel homepage that was fabric created using using Becky's pro fabric prompts as well. Oh, I've got ink splashes. Oh, I love it. I'm going with the flow. Just, it's just a little bit like doodling, oh, in our journals, isn't it? Lots of dots and, mm. This fabric here was in my Happy Mail from Rachel. Isn't it lovely? I, if this is... polyester and then I've got some cotton fabric here and then I've got my brand new composition notebook from from Helen so that's it if you don't want to do your prompts on fabric you can do them in your journal Ooh, look at that. I'm not used to using this pen yet. Yeah, so my, my fabric won't be waterproof, so you'll need, if you want to use inks, you'll have to use inks that... Oh, uh, what's the word? Non-water soluble? Oh, I'm not sure. Stays on inks. Mm. Yes, doodling. This this one might this is my like cloth that I'm using. That'll turn out nicely as well. Oh, always put cover the nib so it doesn't get broken at the end because it's quite delicate. You might have fabric medium to use with acrylic paint. It just makes it soft so when you sew, you do your instructions that it's one part paint to one point part fabric medium. But you might, yeah, use fabric paints or... It just means that the paint's not too thick. There we are. And you can get the knit, Ooh. You can get the needle through it. No crafting noises. A little bit of purple. Oh, yes. Purple and white. Yes, next prompt. P 
purple through a stencil. Oh, wonderful. Let's just mix this. I got the idea to keep my stencils in a folder from Possum Patty. Oh, I've got that one made out of cardboard. Oh, that one made out of acetate sheets, hearts. Oh, let's take those. Oh, and little numbers as well. So we'll take those out and we'll see what we do. I like these little hearts here. So let's let's do that. I've got a little makeup sponge that Julia gave me. Some more paint. Just make it a bit darker. Let's have a look. Oh, lovely. They're cute. You don't want to make the paint too thick, even if it's the... Just in case you want to put the needle through, you might want to put a button on this or a sequin on the hearts. Lovely. Oh, I think the green and purple go beautifully together. I've done some going off the edges as well. So because we're not quite sure what part of this fabric we're going to use yet, are we? Oh, lovely. And on my use it up one. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh, let's make the shape of a flower oh that's lovely one two three four five oh lovely oh let's oh this is lovely oh i like that let's do some more of those one oh, what a lovely shaped sponge oh i'm gonna have to do this more often Make little, make little slow stitch flowers and put beads in. These could cut out and go on on the fabric as well. Oh, I like those. Wonderful. Of course, one in my little notebook too. Ah. Oh. oh, you just never know what's going to happen when you do these. lot lot of paint left in the sponge Pop three use lace now i will slow stitch some lace on but i'm quite enjoying using this sponge so i've got a lace tablecloth and i'm going to lay that over and i've got these inks now i don't know tinter they're called somebody crafted came here just probably had a little session one time and somebody came to do some create creating and they left these inks that must have been years ago always had i've always had people round just like i have you round for a cup of tea and a, and a creative session Mm. Delicious. <laughs> mm. Jean sent me this lace and I, ah, oh, this plastic tablecloth. I absolutely love it. I use it for my, oh, I can't, I can't do this and talk at the same time. It's just too relaxing. Oh, I love that. Mm. Yeah, I use it for my tea dye and coffee dye, but it's lovely like this as well. Shall we lift it up? Let's have a reveal. Use the pink as well. Beautiful on the paint. Oh, lovely. Are you doing your prompts on paper or fabric or both? 
pink's lovely and I've put some centres in the flowers. What's the next prompt? Living thing. Oh, okay. I've got some stays on ink here. Now, if you were doing yours and you wanted to put it through the wash, this is the sort of thing you would use. I'm going to put this underneath the pads because it makes the stamp stamp out a bit better. I've got a, a dear little bumblebee. I'm going to put the bumblebee tiny little pattern on here. On here. Oh, Ooh, it stamps out on the cotton. It sucks it up, maybe. Let's push it down a bit more. Oh, that's perfect. At the same time as doing that, I'm going to put some labels here. Make labels for my, I made, I grew tomatoes in the garden and made some green tomato chutney. I used some some of the tomatoes in a I didn't have many some of the tomatoes in a dinner yesterday and then made the green tomato chutney that will be ready to eat maybe in a couple of weeks time oh I'm loving my page next prompt limes thick and thin I've got I wonder if they still work use them for a while you go through don't you go through phases i've got these pens you can take the oh usually take the nibs out of oh oh it's got it it's got it on it so that's lines thick and thin Thick lines and thin lines. Use what you've got. You can use paint. I was going to use my um, paint scraper and do do lines, but I just I saw these in an old old video and thought, oh, do you know I haven't used them for ages. Head on over to his channel and see what her fabric was like and it's changed as well now because she's been adding some slow stitching and beads and bits and pieces so I'll leave those links and also Heather did some did some fabric as well and that's on Instagram so I will I will leave I will leave her link below as well. Ooh, last prompt sketchy circles with hashtags. That's a fun prompt. I'm going to be using my homemade paint. Now the reason the water's very green is because all the pigment stick, sinks to the bottom and I'm able to, oh lovely, I'm able to dye paper with this green. So I just keep it to this lovely green paint here at the moment. So sketchy little circles, you can use a pen. As Gail said to us and left a quote for us, or message, I think she messaged it to me actually, um, do something every day that makes you feel happy. Lovely. Ah, these are my sketchy circles. And then let's see, do the hashtag. So 
So I'm going to do my little hashtag in the middle, like a bubble. There. Well, I've got in a thorough, oh, I've got in a thorough mess here. Ah, oh, I know what to do. Let's get another piece of paper and just wipe that off. If you don't feel, you can wear gloves. You don't have to get your hands dirty. You, you do your, you need to feel comfortable when you're doing your art. Yeah, I didn't waste a thing. Is that enough to do some splashes? Oh yes, <laughs> why not? Now splashes wasn't one of the prompts, but I just feel like doing some splashes. Lovely. Hmm. It might dry fairly quickly. And then let's, oh. fun. Put the centre in, in this flower here. There we are. All the paint's juiced up now. Hot old day, isn't it, Freddie? Ah, oh, park's busy. So that's the prompt side of it. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to come in with my lace and threads snipping up the fabric. I've got enough for a fabric postcard here and I'm not wasting any of the little bits either. I'm going to make this into a ruffle, a cotton ruffle for for the side of that page It'd be so the colors will just fit in with it even the thread is it's white thread but i i've painted it so it's all in the same color family today just literally in and out and make a ruffle and then off to the lounge with another cup of tea to slow stitch on my on my fabric where's the other little bit hold on oh yeah here that's it add another bit oh i love making ruffles <laughs> Here we are in the lounge, just gently slow stitching. That means any stitch goes. I'm making postcards, so I've got fabric and wadding, and then I put the I put the cardboard on the back. Oh, I'm using my little project bag from the other year as well today, and little Freddie's having a rest after I walk. <laughs> Oh, and I'm watching Project Dresser Girl, and and Becky's involved in that. I'm waiting to see Becky's Becky's dresses. I'll link that below. Adding green shiny to the centre of the flower. And Freddie, are you waiting for everybody to come? Everybody's coming for dinner tonight. 
there we are, like a little sandwich. The quilted fabric, wadding and some cardboard. That was like a little happy accident using the sponge to make those flowers, wasn't it? Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, I started making another envelope. <laughs> Awesome recording now. Oh, for goodness sake, what am I like? Ben has 3D printed me. <laughs> a, take two, take three. I know, it would take two. Um, 3D fairy house, thank you, Ben. What do you think about hanging it up? That would be good, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's never said that before. Oh, and Sam's got some paint. He can paint it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's so we spontaneous when yeah. it's... Um, yeah. Take two. Oh, I love the detail. Why do it's you got like the, take the, there's the door. The front door? Has he got the back door as well? <coughs> no, there's only one door on this. Oh, I love it. Oh, and round windows. No, round no windows, criticism. Yeah. It's quite Hobbit-like, isn't it? It is. Say, is it from the Hobbit? Like, what is it? No, it is actually I a fairy it. house. Thank you. Oh, that's, it is actually... That's, that's, that's a mini version of it. Tim Tam. But obviously, because it doesn't have the detail on it. It's hard to tell. Oh, wow. Yeah. I told you everybody would be round. He was I waiting. I didn't know if this, was, this hasn't really worked. Yes. Yeah. Because it's got all... But oh, you can't file it. that. No, no. Oh, oh you part. could oh, leave actually, it. You could leave it like that. It's the thatch roof, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. if it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave, leave it like floor. that. No, no, it's, it's supposed to be flat, I think. Oh. oh. I'm, it's going to be professionally painted. No, not really. Using the postcard. I tend to put them in these plastic wallets now. They have gone through the post without, but it seems a shame to get them caught up in the machines and... It's just a precaution, really. Little Freddy. <laughs> hmm. And I'll take this to the post office today. That's it. Nice and safe, and then you stick the stamp on the plastic. Safe journey, little postcard. I've got my porridge with stewed apples and cinnamon and banana <laughs> oh my little page it's getting fluffy ready this journal happiness blooms where love is planted we light a candle on. Got to find it first. Mmm, it smells delicious too. Just, this is just, take it how you want to, it's just this little bit of quiet time in this hectic world. Take care, everyone. Bye. You might have noticed that little Freddy didn't have a little treat. It's because he had a little operation on his leg and now he's home and we're just looking after him. I'm making you some chicken and rice, aren't I, Freddy? Mm.